must protect the one. For Doomhammer. This is a pretty good hand if he's aggro. I really don't love one drop into Doomsayer, but I think it's fine. And if he's not aggro, then we don't have to play Doomsayer, and that's fine too. Well, that's a problem. Enough of a problem that I think I have to Doomsayer it. That thing just gets too fat. And even though I lose my Doomsayer and my 1-drop for his thing, he also invested in Innervate. Get our Stonehill out on the empty board. Probably just take A-Bomb. Even if he buffs a bunch of little shitter trees, A-Bomb plus Maelstrom Portal can clear it. The land serves me. Okay, he's playing this list. That's kind of annoying. Go away. Just evolve this guy. Barnes is not one of the top tier 4 drops, but at least he doesn't get one shot by the Mire Keeper. Innervate number two, that's what I like to see. I wonder if I ever just play Thrall here and get two six drops. Alright, let's go. This is a pretty early Thrall. Well, this thing sucks, but this is actually pretty good with the Maelstrom Portal in my hand. Especially since I no longer have access to the Wrath of Air Totem. That sucks. Is there any difference between these two mana 1-5 taunts? Let's evolve this. Oh! That's a big dude. Can I get away with playing a Rattling Rascal here? I think I can. Should be pretty difficult for him to kill. And 5-11 taunt. Hmm, yeah, the Wrath. Well, that is kind of a bummer. Because evolving that guy would have been real nice. I think we're playing Maelstrom Portal here, which means these two guys die, including this attack. And then this guy can kill this guy. And I guess I'm going to have to trade my Archmage off into here, which means I'm going to evolve, I guess, this guy. So let's start by evolving this guy. Hogger? Hogger's dope. Probably could have played Stonehill earlier in the turn. Uh, I don't think I made that many totems. Let's take this thing, actually. This thing just has a lot of health to just have access to as a taunt anytime I need it. And I think the thing from below is pretty expensive, if not six mana. Hard draw. Pretty expected out of a druid. Okay, so he's playing Ultimate Infestation next turn because he played Wild Growth from 8 to 10. Let's just evolve our little rascal here. Oh, that is probably very good. We do lose that on some Hogger value here, which is a bummer. But I think it's worth it. Eh, maybe it's not worth it. Maybe we should have just played Drakari Defender and evolved maybe the Stonehill? Got him! Easy. Where's your ultimate infestation now?
for Doomhammer. Not sure what we're looking for. Oh, I should have kept Devolve for aggro. That was a really bad mulligan. Well, if I get wrecked by aggro, it's my fault. And it's also Blizzard's fault. But probably my fault, too. Easy. Never punished for misplays. Alright, pretty easy hero power. And then we play Stonehill, and if the Stonehill lives, we'll probably just try to curve the Rascal into Thrall. That's looking pretty far into the future, though. Okay, he's not aggro. So actually, I don't want this to evolve. Oh well. Um, I think we're going to take Alakir here. I'm currently planning to play Thrall on Curve. If I do, that thing from below is not very good. Earth Elemental is a pretty bad evolved target. Alakir also lets me push damage. I have a Flame Tongue Totem in my hand, but that's really far off in mana. I still think I'm taking Alakir here, though. It is definitely a little bit questionable, though, I admit. Hopefully he doesn't have a minion here. I'd feel a lot more comfortable playing my Rascal if there's no minion. Also, hopefully no Nourish. Well, his turn 7 is pretty likely to be the Death Knight, which means my Rascal might not die, so that's good. But on the flip side of that, he has 3 more mana than me, so that's definitely not good. Oh, he's gonna kill my Rascal. The Fiend. Wow. Is that even good? Like, yeah, it's nice to get the 5-5 five five before I can evolve. That was a really terrible swipe, though. Like, an awful, awful swipe. I could still play Thrall here. I might even just play this other Rascal plus Evolve. And then hopefully that gives me a sick board, and then maybe we just drop Thrall behind that. I think I like that play. Oh my lord. What are these minions? Every one of these minions is below average. Like what? How unlucky can one person be? On the bright side, this board sucks so bad that he might not want to kill it and then I can play through all of her sick value. So, silver lining I guess. Is Thrall the play here? I could also play like Flame Tongue, trade the Bloat Bat into the 5 5, trade the 1 2 into the 5 3, but then I guess it's kind of like a 3 2 instead of a 1 2 since Flame Tongue is going to be next to it anyway. God, just imagine if I got like one real minion out of that and then could value trade into the Skeleton and then play Thrall. That'd be so much better. We're playing Thrall, boys. We got a charger, apparently. My boy Gromish. Hell yeah. Do I play anything that works with Velen? I have some AoE spells, but no face spells. Okay, so the first Evolve sucked, but the Thrall was pretty damn good. To be fair, though, he has 9 mana to work with. He just trades his... his ghoul thing into my... Ramesh. And then my board's not looking so hot. This thing is a 6 drop, right? So we probably want to evolve this garbage. Probably using Prophet Velen like this. Actually, maybe we just trade like these two guys in here. And then I evolve this guy and just send Velen face. Like, I don't need to kill these shitters. Let's do that. Wow, that's bad. 
I think we actually just evolved Solia here. She's really below average. That's good. Oh my god, he heals for 16! Anyway. If only I was actually damaged for 16. Yeah. The Light Lord Velen heal for one combo. OP, dude. But yeah, anyway, our board is huge. His board is not. And we have Alakir for six next turn. Unfortunately, Alakir Flame Tongue is still pretty far off. I did consider just trying to get Flame Tongue on the board this turn so I could Alakir him next turn for a lot. But I think Flame Tongue died pretty often if I played it here. What is this? Swipe or Second Wrath, I guess? Second Wrath. I think he's dead. Is he dead on board? I think I'm showing 13. Hit him with that Alec here. Sick, dude. Definitely keep Doomsayer because Aggro Druid is a thing. I really want to play this curve, but it's probably not strong enough to keep. I think I'll keep Thrall though. I need some hot Thrall Deathseer footage. So we're probably looking to coin this combo on 5 and then follow up with Thrall, win the game. Easy. Wow, we got Doomsayer and Devolve, but he's not aggro. Why doesn't anyone play aggro druid with Jade stuff like they do with Shaman? I guess Jade Blossom kind of sucks in aggro, huh? Well, we'll just pass. I mean, I is still good, Jade Behemoth is still good, Jade Idol's okay. I guess Jade Idol's not that good either. Well, figured it out, they don't play it because it's bad. He only needs one damage to kill the Doomsayer here. His best answer is probably like a Wrath. If he has to swipe this, I'd be happy. Yeah, that's a bummer. But it's not too big a deal, I don't think. I think the Doppel Coin Evolve into Thrall Death Seer is very strong against Druid. So hopefully that'll be enough to win us the game. Play this guy here. He's not that easy to get through. Should even kill these two. And if he doesn't decide to kill these off, then uh, they're pretty nice to evolve. If I didn't want to spend my coin, I could play this instead of Doppelgangster, but that's just way worse. Wow, we actually got real minions. I mean, Goya is not great, but all my other minions are actually very good for their mana cost. He can kill the Taunt and the Goya, but it should actually be pretty difficult for him to kill more than that. That is two of my six drops, though. If he can kill both of those and either Hemet or Bully, I think he'll be fine. If I get to play Thrall on three minions, though, I think he's probably in trouble. Okay, that's fine. We can play Thrall and then we could even coin out Devolve if we wanted. Devolve is pretty good against that board. Wait, we don't need to do that because we can attack first, right? Do we want to coin a Totem before we play Thrall? Or do we want to try to coin Thrall's hero power? So basically a 3-drop or a reroll? I think a 3-drop has to be better, right? No charger, because the button's green. So we get a 7, an 8, a 4, and a 3. 
Okay, these are good minions. Okay, Aya is pretty strong. Oh, we got that two damage maelstrom portal. Actually pretty good, because I can do this. Maybe we hex Aya, maelstrom, and then we can hero power one of our guys. Probably like trade Medivh into this and then evolve him. Could also play Devolve here. I think the hex play is just better. Oh, this thing really sucks. Do I ever trade one of my sevens in here, trade this off so I can evolve this guy? That probably doesn't really make much sense. I'd also just go face. Yeah, let's just go face. Who cares about a 4-2? Oh, look at the Volatile Elemental, putting in work. Bam, wrecked. Oh, he's gonna have to tank the 7. Is Devolve gonna be lethal here? He's at 12. So, probably not. I'm still gonna need to find 2 damage. I could play Devolve here to try to push damage. But I actually have a really good Evolve play, so we're gonna go for that. Feels good putting your 8 drop down to 1 health and then evolving it. And then we can reroll the worst one. Wow, they're all good. I guess Menagerie Warden is a little bit below the curve. <laughs> wow, he got wrecked.